Do you know that feeling when you just got yourself a brand new lovely pair of pole dancing shoes and a week later they get scratched? Pretty annoying, right? These shoes aren't cheap and they have to endure quite a lot. So let me help you to make them last longer. Hi, this is Kasia from exoticacademy.com, an online pole dancing and flow work school. And in this video, I will be sharing my three, some more, some less conventional methods on how to protect your platforms, your pole dancing shoes, so they can last longer. Let's begin with the most conventional method, which are ready to go platform protectors that have been designed designed specifically for that purpose can be found in most online clothing stores for pole dancing. Let's talk about the good stuff. Well, they are ready to go. Basically, you buy them, you put them on, that's it. Most importantly, they give you relatively good protection, which is what we care about the most. They come in different colors, different designs, so you can try to match your protectors with the color of the shoe. And they are relatively pretty. I'm not a big fan of something that is on the shoe anyway, but out of all these solutions we have, these are probably the cutest ones. Okay, what's not so great about them? Depending on the design of the shoe and the finish, they can slide. So on the suede finish, they will stay on nicely, but if you have a bit more slippery design, then they tend to slide and you have to keep readjusting them, which can be a little bit annoying. The other thing, as they slide on the rubber part of the shoe, it can get really slippery and you can actually fall. So be careful with them. The other thing I noticed, I just get really hot when I wear these. And obviously the price, they're around 30% of the price of the shoe, so depending on the brand you go for, but on average, how to use them. Open the package, apply, dance, remove, easy. Next, a slightly less conventional method, which is old socks. What's great about them, they are pretty much free. It takes two seconds to cut them and put them on. You don't really care about them if they get dirty or break, you just replace them with another pair of socks. Depending on the sock you go for, they can give quite good protection. And in my case, I find them much more breathable than the platform protectors. Also, you can adjust them how you like meaning cut less or more and decide how much of the shoe you want to be exposed and if you have longer socks and wearing boots you can actually apply them on the greater part of the shoe i would say they're great for floor work and sort of all the toe dragging and all that kind of stuff because you can really go for it and you don't worry about anything don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and would like me to share some more tips what's not so great about them well they don't look exceptionally flattering but i guess if you find a black sock and match it with a black shoe shouldn't be that bad and like with the platform protectors they can slide how to use them just grab a pair of old socks or you can always steal them from your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend what you have to do essentially is just to cut the toe part off put it on and you can adjust it see if you need more cutting or if they're okay and if they get used you simply replace them with another pair of your boyfriend's socks moving on to even less conventional method but my favorite can you see it? Exactly, almost invisible. Taping. You can apply the tape on the nose and the sides of the shoes and the areas that get scratched the most. I tape most of my shoes. I use them as well if the flooring is too grippy. I made a separate video about it. It can be a little bit dangerous, so watch out. But today I'm going to talk about tape for protection. For example, a kinesio tape or any medical tape, the thicker, the more protection you're gonna get. The kinesio sport tapes come in different colors. Medical ones, I've seen only a few colors, but if you can find a matching tape, it's almost invisible. What's great about tapes, they are seamless. One tape will last you for a long time. You just basically replace it and the application is really easy. What's not so great about taping is that if you tape your shoes and remove the tape, they can leave glue marks, which I still think it's better to have glue marks than broken shoes, but didn't say I did not warn you. Patch test on some area that isn't really visible. It's highly recommended recommended because the tape is relatively seamless and thin it wears off pretty quickly so you have to watch out and replace the tape before it wears off otherwise you're gonna start scratching your shoe and will not even notice when so I would give it average to 
minimal protection and also if you decide to apply it on the bottom of the shoe on the rubber then they can also be slidey and slippery and dangerous so be careful i basically just kind of roughly measured the length i cut three pieces two for the platform one for the nose i don't really care about being precise here and just apply it so in summary the main difference between the professional platform protectors and socks is the price yes they are a little bit more pretty the professional ones but i would say they work the same and do the same job and the tape gives you less protection but it's much more seamless please let me know in the comments if you tried these methods what do you think about them or maybe if you have some other ways of protecting your shoes you can also check out my other video when i explain the main differences and get a bit technical about sandals versus boots see you in the next video